Hey guys, welcome back to another video. And today I'm playing Base Raiders here. Uh, just give me a second, this guy's being a pain in the butt. Uh, so yeah. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my base. Like, I know I've never played this game on my channel before. And my channel is really struggling. <laughs> me and my 12 subscribers. Wow. Anyway. But yeah. Uh, I'm just gonna get into this video. I'm, and I'm gonna be showing you guys some traps that you can possibly do. I mean, if you want. And, um, yeah. The main one's committing eye murder. So, the first thing you want to do, like, let's just start with the four basic turrets. Up top, right? So, what you do, is you go one block above the spawn point. I, I do have an oversized base, but this does work on any type of base. Either way, um, go one block above and then place a 3x3 three three of plastic. For the eye murder tactic, you do need the advanced colors, because you want to make everything white. I'll get to that part later. But yeah, what you want to do is you want to just go, and then you want to go out one on each side. And then make a rim. Just like this. Hey, 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 what, what the f mate? What the f Quit doing that, mate. Quit doing that. I told them I could. I told them that they could raid me. They just weren't supposed to kill me. Anyhow. Uh, yeah. So, once you have that done, you go and you build a second rim around it, like a second block, just all the way around it. And then yeah. One thing though, this does have to be in plastic because it's a smooth block and it reflects. It really reflects stuff. And it matches the turret. So, yeah. Anyhow, you build one block up, one block in, right? And then you go and you make a border with these things, right? Go one out and then Just like this. For these blocks, it doesn't really matter how they're placed. Because as you can see, you just take them out afterwards. Or just to make life easier. And then you take that one out, right? Now, what you're going to want to do... Is you're going to want to put another layer... On top of this, right? So that you have it just like this. Right? So now that you have it just like this, um, what you're going to want to do is you want to make a little platform roof on it, right? Go one block up, and then you just make a eight block roof. Let me just jump up here quickly. Um, okay, whatever. But yeah, you make an 8 block roof, just like this. Boom. The reason why I use these big blocks is just to save space, because, as you can see, you do have a limit on your base size. I wish they would get rid of it, but they won't, so. Anyway, but yeah. Now you have this giant box. And what you want to do is you want to paint it, and paint this entire thing white. Well, we'll start out with painting these walls white. Right? And then you withdraw these three. Take out three. Take out three. 
take out all of those, right? And then you put two in the middle. You'll see you'll see the point of this of this part here later. It's for the turrets to sit on. I know I have a lot of stuff because I have played this game a lot, so I've got a decent amount of stuff. Anyway, and then what you want to do? You want to put storm or floodlights. You want to just stick floodlights everywhere, like on these three indents. Generally, most of my bases are always symmetrical, so... Oh. Ah. Uh, okay. Thought it was my Wi-Fi for a second there. Just as long as he doesn't try killing me. him. Uh, whatever. And then, what you also want to do, is you want to see these blocks here, right? And you add floodlights to them. Basically, what the, um, iron murder is, it's just a massive here of light. It's just a crime in this game. <laughs> Wait till I turn these all on and have the entire thing white. Okay, so you have this, right? Then you go into your traps and get your double turrets. You place your turrets about one little tiny block worth away from the edge of those of these two by ones, I guess. Right? And you just have it like that. Now what you want to do, you want to go in, it's pretty tricky, you want to paint absolutely everything white. What I meant by this is pretty tricky, it's just getting this block in behind here. I probably should have painted it before I put the turrets in. Doesn't really matter though. Anyhow. Now that I have this, you want to make sure that even your floodlights are white. It just makes them so much harder to see. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Actually though, he just comes in expecting this to be super easy. Uh, wait till he sees the massacre of lights I'm gonna put in this. Just wait till he sees the massacre. Uh. I don't like him being there. I'm just gonna take him out quickly. I just don't like him being there. Now I'm pretty much going to be forced to stay inside my base the entire time. Otherwise he's just going to come and spawn kill me. Anyhow. So yeah, now that we have the entire thing painted white, it's time to turn on the lights. So with the lights, what you want to do first... Okay, come on. Is you want to turn on these corner ones first, right? As you can see, it's already really hard on the eyes. Like, my brightness is like all the way up right now. It's just a massacre. Oh gosh. And then you turn on these ones. Right. Get all four of them done. And then, 
Huh, where'd the turrets go? I don't see any turrets. I do not see any turrets. Oh wait, there they are. Ah, this is just a massacre of light. Oh, it hurts my eyes. Okay. Now, the challenge is trying to get back up in this. When I literally can't see anything. Oh god. Oh no, this is so hard to see. I can't see anything. Alright, so, next thing you're gonna wanna do is you wanna take out one of the corner things, right? And then just place... Place a little two block stack of plastic blocks. Just in the corner here. So you can sort of see them. Like, obviously from down here you can't see anything. So... You wanna keep those ones green because... Like, then at least you can find them. You can sort of see them. <laughs> tell you, this base relies on being able. This is just camouflaged. <laughs> OMG, this is just too bright. Too freaking bright. Too freaking bright there. Alright. So yeah, once you have that done, um, that's the camouflage. And I can see it's already not working. Oh no, never mind. That was just because of my red from the base light. Like, when you go into build mode, this thing shows red. That was why I could see it. <laughs> Anyhow. So yeah, we have that done. Now, the next thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put ballistas down. Just in the corners here. Or just on the edges of the bay, so shh. Why? 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 Why do you think I shoot at them? I'm not doing anything to them. The reason why, if you guys are wondering why I don't have base protection on, it's literally just because I hate the spawn shield. Like, I wish it would be invisible or something. <sighs> the spawn shield is just so annoying. So look, I go in, and I have this massive shield that blocks my view. I just freaking hate it. Anyhow. But yeah. Then you wanna just let's just get on with this. I'm I'm done my done my raid session. Anyway, so yeah. Then you just wanna make a plastic box around them. Maybe leave the front open. Yeah, I'm gonna leave the front open. That way people can actually get into my base. Because it's kind of fun to just let them in. And then like drop stuff on their head or whatnot. So, I don't know. It's fun to give them false hope. That's another tactic that this base relies on. False hope. And then with um with these ballistas, again you're gonna want to paint it white. The trick to this base is everything around this, like everything that you don't want them to see has to be white and has to have um, floodlights spammed around it. So that it's almost impossible to see anything in this base. Cause if you can't, what you, you can't hit what you can't see. Right? That's what this base relies on. 
I have seen floodlights used in the past in some bases to like do this, but they do a really poor job of it, so I kind of, I'm just taking it to the next level, or at least trying to. I'm sure there are probably some of you out there that have done this. It's, it's definitely not a new idea, it's just something I wanted to try. Now, how do I fit this thing in? How do I fit these turrets in? Um, so, I'm gonna put it like this, right? Does that work? Oh yeah, three away and three away? Okay, that's pretty even. Generally, I like all my turrets to be able to shoot at the middle. I don't know. I don't even know why I like... I can't tell if they would be more beneficial on the outside though. Anyhow, so what you're gonna wanna do here, you're just gonna wanna go like this. Just put a one block rim around them. And guys, if you're thinking about doing it like this, don't. The turrets, it just stops the turrets from firing. Turrets always like to go for headshots, or at least that's what I found out. So, just leave the top, leave the upper part open, and usually the turret does fine. And then, again, you just paint it all white. This tactic literally just relies on, on floodlights. Now, I know that these, these bottom turrets aren't TNT proof, but... Like, the reason... Anyway, I, to, I told you guys I'd get to the reason for the two block rays on these guys. And that's just simply to make it TNT proof. So that no, uh... Nobody comes in and just destroys your entire uh, defensive system with a bit of TNT. Anyhow, uh, floodlights. Gotta get more floodlights. Then I think that this should be enough. Yeah, that definitely ought to do it. You just need enough to completely conceal the white. Again, I know I'm I know I'm repeating myself, but you can't hit what I what you can't see. That's literally the only thing that makes this base effective. And honestly, I have never tried this before. I'm just kind of curious to see what happens. I've got this. Let's make these floodlights go. Mm. Could be better. I feel like I still could improve that a lot. I keep forgetting that the floodlights illuminate the opposite side. So if I wanted it to be invisible to this direction, invisible from this direction, I'd need to have floodlights over here. I kind of wonder what I'm going to run out of cash. I'm actually wondering how much cash I got left. My recorder bar is covering it, so I can't really see it. Anyhow. But yeah. Well. Let's give this a try.
Yeah, you see how that's more invisible? <laughs> oh, the massacre. It looks like everything's in neon, honestly. I've noticed that Roblox Neon just lights literally everything up. Oh, the massacre. Oh, the massacre of light. seeing these things. <laughs> Imagine what happened when I paint it all white. I paint the floodlights. Oh, jeez. Oh, I am getting such a headache from this. I can't look at this anymore. seems to be doing its job okay because they're not seeing any of it. Oh gosh. Massacre. Ugh, it's murdering my eyes. It's literally murdering my eyes. Oh. You guys might think I'm joking, but I'm not. Ugh. My eyes are very light sensitive right now. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, this is just too much. Too much on my eyes. Oh, oh sorry guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Too much light. Well, it does its job at least. Have you guys ever walked out on one of those days where it's like, where it's just snowed and like the ground is covered in white and like the sun's out and it's just glaring in your eyes? That's what my eyes feel like right now. It's just, oh, so much light. <laughs> uh, well, it's doing its job. Just as so long as it does its job. I've only got $25,000 left. <sighs> it's doing its job, though. It's too bad I can't get any floodlights looking this way. does its job, so I guess it's a success. Maybe. Ish. I think. Probably a success. Yeah, it's, it's probably a success. Six, <laughs> success. I am having a tough time pronunciating things right now. Anyhow, um, where's the center of the base? There it is. I just need to find the center. Just so that I can get like... Oh, the massacre. <laughs> hmm. 
Sometimes I wonder why I, ta why I torch in my eyes like this. Oh wait, no I don't. It's for you guys. I'm showing you guys how to make a base that nobody wants to raid. Comment down below if your guys' eyes are hurting too. This is just so bright. Um, as far as traps go, oh yeah. Another really cool thing that, or another really useful thing I should say. Bop, 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 bop. Nope, nope. I'm hiding in my light chill. I am hiding in my light chill. I'm hiding behind the massacre. Yeah. <laughs> well, at least they're not. At least they're not seeing my turrets. At least I don't see them. Oh, just noticed my friend joined. Uh, whatever. Ah, ah, Jesus Christ. I am so sorry, guys, but like, this is just. Bruh. Why you bully me? Tell me I don't got enough. It's telling me I don't got enough. <sighs> I just, I need something that I have a lot of. It's something that I have a lot of. Mm. Well. Okay, so, building? No, scenery. Floodlights were in scenery. Bloodlight. No! No! I need to be rich. I don't need this. No, me must be rich. Okay, yeah, I'm just gonna keep that green right now. I am just keeping that green. All oh, the illumination though. At least they can make hidden veins of traps, so. though. That they can just walk right into without even seeing. Hmm. I kind of feel bad about this, though. I'm like creating the base that you don't really want to raid. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you're still watching, please subscribe to my channel. And maybe drop a like. And comment down below what you thought of this. I'm going to need to do a part two because this is already running on half an hour. Jeez. Okay, guys. I'll see you on the next episode. Plus, I need a break from this massacre of light.